Well, good afternoon and maybe a good evening or a good morning uh, from uh, the other parts of the world. Um, welcome to our third uh, YouTube live session where we introduce our uh, newest innovation, OxyPack Rotator, where we could test, let's say, 20 packs per minute. Unfortunately, uh, we need to do it like this. Um, because of COVID-19, uh, the Interpack was cancelled. Uh, this should have been our last day on the Interpack. Well, when COVID-19 wasn't there, uh, yeah, we should have had the opportunity to introduce this for seven days in a row. Now we only have maybe, let's say, 15, 30 minutes uh, to show you and demonstrate you how the machine works. And give a little bit of insight of our test principle uh, in, in, uh, yeah, in, in, the mean in the meantime, or at least during this uh, video. Um, before we start, if you have questions during this demo, uh, please pose them on the, the chat session uh, in your screen. Um, if you don't want to uh, do it uh, on a public way, you could do it also uh, via our info email box. It's in info at oxypack.com. You, you could post your questions there as well. Uh, if there are questions, we will try to answer them uh, during this, uh, this session. Um, if not, then we will definitely come back to you uh, via a private email or whatsoever. But also please uh, please state your uh, email address uh, at least in the um, uh, yeah, uh, in the chat itself so we could get back to you in uh, uh, yeah, later on. So uh, yeah, why uh, this machine uh, and why did we develop uh, this uh, inline solution? Well, uh, we s in the last few years, we saw an increased demand of, uh, yeah, let's say questions to us. Okay, OxyPack, can you please develop a system where you could test multiple packages at the same time, or at least multiple packages during the minute? Uh, and in the past, most of our customers used or are still using a, a bubble tester. Uh, that's why we dis uh, developed our uh, offline standalone tester. Uh, but uh, uh, you see that at the moment um, there is an increased demand to get to be better in control of your production process and you need to test multiple pa multiple packages per hour or even even per minute so that's why we have been busy in the last two to three years to come up with this solution uh, uh, to be able and to enable our customers to detect at least 20 packages per minute which, which this machine is, is is running but you could easily add up units like this and then the system will run up to 20 40 60 80 100 up to 120 packs per minute um, by testing multiple packages per minute you are more in control and uh, so you will have less food waste or waste for your produ products during produ uh, production because you're in control within a minute you are aware of the fact if you are producing leak packages constantly then you will within a minute you are uh, uh, on track and you see an alarm goes off then you need to do something so you be you are in more control and you will definitely cut costs and reduce your food waste um, before we will give some more detailed information of the system I will we will show you a small video of our uh, standalone leak tester which gives you a little bit of an idea how our test method is running and what we what kind of test method we use so as we are not sure that everybody knows how the system works uh, and how our test principle works uh, we will give you a small introduction and a short introduction of how the test principle works uh, by showing this on uh, our standalone user, which is already used uh, worldwide with uh, a lot of the different customers. Um, the test itself is implemented in the rotator, so uh, you can see now this is only a standalone unit, but this chamber is now built in with uh, the stand in the rotator itself with 12 chambers. Uh, but uh, to give you a small introduction, we are using a pressure difference method. Uh, using uh, a vacuum decay uh, and the big advantage of our system is that we are using flexible membranes to minimize the volume around the package to be able to detect the smallest amount of pressure non-destructive tests so you, ha you have seen that the package does not 
is not impacted by the test itself whatsoever. Um, and again, this is a standalone uh, tester, which yeah, normally is used uh, by uh, our customers uh, to test, let's say, four to eight packages every hour. Maybe they test four packages every half an hour. Um, but knowing that they would like to increase the amount of tests and to be uh, a little bit more, uh, let's say, in control of their production process, uh, they came up with the question, Oxypack, could you please develop a system which is able to test, let's say, 20 packages up to 120 packages per minute. Try to give you a little bit of uh, no, more inf detailed information about the machine. As you can see, we have tried to, or we, yeah, we were successfully uh, um, developed uh, the system, uh, the standalone system, into this uh, rotator. Um, the size of each chamber, uh, which is inside the machine is uh, approximately an A4 size, so you could uh, enter different sizes of packages. The machine will run with this size of package, a small one, but you could easily change over from different package sizes, from s very small ones, let's say 50, 10, 50 uh, milligrams or grams, up to, let's say, 400 to 800 grams of packages. I will try to start the machine so the machine is running from this side and will uh, return back here. The robot arm is picking up the packages coming out of the machine. They are placed on the in-feed conveyor belt at this side. And the machine will run from there into one of the 12 chambers. We are using 12 chambers to reach the capacity of 20 packs per minute. The total cycle time is approximately 30 to 35 packages per minute. And the machine is running clockwise. So the packages are being entered into the chamber on this side. They are closed and there we immediately create the vacuum. It turns clockwise. And again, it takes about 30 seconds, 35 seconds to complete its cycle. At this point, the machine already knows what the result of the test will be. And it will also be demonstrated on the A HMI, but yeah, we'll see later. And on this side, we have two different conveyor belts. Probably you don't see it. The lower one is our reject belt, and the upper belt is the uh, OK belt. So what you can see is it runs smoothly, not OK will be rejected immediately, and the OK, pa okay packages will come out of the outfeed. You could easily adapt this machine into any kind of uh, standard or already existing production line or build in, in, a, in when you have a new project. Um, we will switch over. Uh, we already created a small video of uh, the back end of the machine where you can see how the in feed and the out feed goes. Alright, um, so you have seen how the in-feed uh, and the out-feed is running. Um, yeah, the machine is conti continuously d uh, moving uh, the, 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 let's say, the 20 packages per minute. And we have tried to make uh, the, the HMI as user-friendly uh, as possible uh, to yeah, make it uh, very easy to operate for any operator uh, without a lot of guidance. Um, Again, we have already set up uh, a video of the system itself, uh, which can be started right now. Uh, and let's uh, yeah, see what's going on. And then you could uh, ask some more questions if needed. So this is um, uh, give you an impression of how the HMI looks like. Um, this is the home screen where you can see how many uh, packages are uh, already tested and how many are rejected. Um, just simply saying, okay, all the chambers are working at the moment. As you can see, they're all on orange. 
Here is the trend of the machine, so you could see uh, how the chambers are working and what the results of each chamber is. So you can see it's running okay. We have some diagnostics. At the moment everything is green, it's running. You can also see what the status is per chamber. So all the chambers are measuring, which the blue ones are measuring. And if they are not loaded or are unloading, they uh, are white at that time. So it's quite a, a pretty simple and uh, yeah, for an operator-friendly HMI, uh, which yeah, could be changed and used very friendly. And in the meantime, we can see that we have already tested at about approximately 18 to 20 packages a minute. Yeah, I hope it, uh, yeah, this short demonstration uh, at least gives you um, an insight of uh, how we can yeah, come up with a solution which is running inline leak detection up to 120 packs per minute. Um, as I told you, we can do 120 packs per minute with six units in a row. Um, Although in some cases uh, it will be not sufficient, but you could also think of uh, you uh, testing two packages at the same time, especially with the smaller packages. These machines mostly also run on a higher speed, on a higher capacity than 120 packs per minute. But in this case you could easily put two packages at the same time into one chamber. Uh, and so you could easily... Um, increase your capacity from 120 for example to 240 packs per minute um, the disadvantage if you are testing two packages at the same time is that if one of the packages is leaking uh, both packages will be rejected so a little bit up to you whether you want to have this uh, 100 or 240 packs per minute or not um, so that is what we can do uh, and um, yeah if you are more inter if, you, if you have more interest and you would like to get some more detailed information of the system please contact us via info at oxypack.com uh, you could send your own packages to us to oxypack and we could run a live demo with your own packages to see what's going on and then we could have a more private chat and uh, uh, we have some more time uh, to discuss uh, your questions and uh, the opportunity of uh, yeah, this great innovation again thank you so much for watching and hopefully we'll meet each other in person very soon thank you very much bye